Hi guys, uh, today I'm going to show you how to connect your smartphone to your accessible gateway and your computerized thermostat knob also to the gateway. So you can manage with your smartphone through the gateway your thermostat knobs. And it's rather easy but you have to know how to do it. So you're going to say I'm going to go to the Play Store. And there you're going to search. You're going to search for the Smart Tuya Smart Life app. I already installed it, so you can just install it. And then it says, do you want to sign up or do you want to log in? You say, I want to sign up. You have to agree with this. You uh, can choose your country where you live and you choose your email you want to connect with them. And then get verification code. After that, you can log in with that. Uh, to switch to the other computer. For now, I can log in. As you can see, there are no devices, so I'm gonna say plus. Add a device. I'm gonna go to small home applications, and there I choose thermostat. This one. No Wi-Fi. There are more of them. Just thermostat. You have to connect your phone to your uh, Wi-Fi router at home. And I'm not very happy you can see this. So I'm going to say you're not allowed to see this. Um, this is my router at home. And this is my password for my router at home. And I'm going to say next. The next step you have to do is this one. You plug in your gateway into the main. And you're going to press this little reset button. I can press it automatically, I guess. You, you need the green light flashing rapidly. Confirm and press next. And what you're going to see is this will change to blue. When he is really connecting, it's going to change to blue. So it was blinking rapidly green and it's now blinking slowly blue. It's now steady blue, so it is connected. And now he will go to the next step, register on cloud, initialize the service. And I already installed a lot, but it doesn't mean anything for this example. So you can say done. That's there. Done. And so now I added my Suswell gateway. Leave it all there. You don't have to do anything. As you can see, I got already three devices on my gateway and I want to add a new device. And the process is rather simple. Now, be careful what you do because the battery is normally, the spring is on the mi minus side. But in this equip piece of equipment, this battery has to go like this. And you have to follow the images, not the springs. You can close it. It's a little bit difficult. But you have to really insert this inside it. like this and then you push it 
like that. And now it's in place. It's gonna say, I don't know if you can see that. Um, it's saying test. And it's a little bit out of focus because I'm focused on the other parts, but you can still see it. This will take a little while. And as you can see, the yellow light is turned off again. So please wait till it enter it's finished testing. I'm going to press this one till it goes yellow. Yep. I'm going to press these two till it gives me the dot and I release it and it is zero. And now I can change the name of this one. Now we can do this. I got a really small se second floor, only one room. That's it. That's all to it. So you, this is this is by far the most easy way. Press the button till it goes yellow. Press this one till it goes to stripes, and you're done. You can do a whole lot of them in a short time, and you're not losing anything here. A little tip: if you're gonna program it, you can say all days. And then you make your basic program and then you select the weekend and you can make little changes. Because normally, otherwise you have to do it every time for every day. So you can program them all at once. You have only four times you can switch. So what I normally do is I'm, I go late to sleep. So I say uh, at zero hour or at zero zero thirty, uh, I'm going to change it to low. Uh, so it switches off the next day because I don't want to switch it off when I'm still up. Don't know if that's clear or not. I hope this will help you a lot and please give me a thumbs up. And this is the normal setting. It's green and this is, says it is connected to Wi-Fi and when he's sending signals it's the yellows. Yeah. Um, they connect like every three or four minutes. So if I change something here, it changes in a few minutes over there because they are very uh, energy friendly. And these batteries are in it for almost nine months and no problem at all. I wish you a great day. Thanks for watching.